Let's move on to that breaking news we've been following for you from overnight in New Haven, where we're learning that firefighters there rescued three people from inside a burning home overnight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna joins us now live from the scene on Saltonstall Avenue. Unfortunately, Roger, we're hearing that one person also died as a result of this fire. So what do you know? Well, good morning, Nicole. This is truly a horrible situation. As you mentioned, one woman died in this fire, and this situation could have been even worse. We're learning now, just moments ago, that nearly 20 people were displaced as a result of this fire. Earlier this morning, we had been told that number was closer to 10, but New Haven Fire has updated that number now to nearly 20 people, including six children. And you can see the bulk of the damage is to the third floor and the attic of this home just at the corner of Lloyd Street here in New Haven. And again, one woman died. Three people, though, were rescued thanks to the quick action of New Haven firefighters. Now, New Haven Fire Chief John Alston says he and his team, of course, are devastated this morning. Again, the fire displaced around 20 people, including some members of the victim's family, as well as, again, six children. The Red Cross is helping all of the people who were displaced at this time. Now state investigators are trying to figure out exactly how this fire started and where. She said, Alston says this horrific situation really hits home for himself and every single New Haven firefighter. We've spoken to the other residents. Uh, obviously, they're devastated. Uh, it's a very uh, tight community here. Um, I don't live far from here as well. Um, but as I said, our hearts go out to that family. And you can see just extensive damage to the third floor of this home here, this multi-family home. Again, 20 people or nearly 20 people have been displaced. The Red Cross is helping all of them this morning. Reporting live in New Haven, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.